All right, Shalom. Welcome back to Code Searcher. Okay, guys, you follow me on Facebook. You just saw this post. Uh, some of you are already commenting some things. Um, this I want to talk about this right here. This I don't know if this is a hoax. Or what this is right here. Um. But I just posted it on my Facebook. And I want to go over this for you. This is a bioengineered pet, folks. It's like the days of Noah. When they were creating hybrids. Um, this is a real deal. This is a real thing. So far, I have discovered. Uh, there is no indication it is a hoax. Uh, I am going to contact and see if this is, uh, if this is for real. But... Uh, so far, it pans out. It looks real. This is a live, breathing mammal. It has a heart, it has blood, and it has bones. It will die if you cut it. If you cut it, uh, if you stab it, it will die. Um, but it is a bioengineered pet that is in a hibernation state. Uh, it has inside the packaging, folks, electronics for life support. And you know how they came up with this? Let's read it together. I was blown away. I could not believe what I was reading. These things have a one year or a three year lifespan, but I want to go to questions. Let's just go to this one first. Okay. Right now, are gen pets real animals, and how? Gen pets are living, breathing mammals. Biogenasia is a bioengineering company that has mod combined and modified existing DNA to create gen pets lineup. Gen pets have blood, bones, and muscle, and they will bleed if you cut them, like I said, and die if you mistreat them, just like any other animal. The electronic components are only in the package for basic life support. Outside the package, the gen pets are wholly organic uh, and just a little bit further down I want you to see something in 2003 folks this takes it back to the giant Nephilim skulls and my conversation with L.A. Marzulli when I asked him do you think they're cloning these Nephilim and he said absolutely and I believe it and here is the proof in 2003 human DNA was successfully co combined with rabbit and other animals to create the successful Chimera hybrids, the, chem, the, 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 the pets that we're talking about now. Rabbits and human DNA, that's what they're created from, folks. And this is exactly what they were doing in the days of Noah. This was an outrage to our Creator. The, the, the fallen angels had taught man how to manipulate the species, and all creatures were corrupt. The, the, the word says all creatures were corrupt. They had corrupt them all. Uh, the original prototype and breeding gen pets were created using the process called zygote micro injection. Therefore, the gen pets are grown in assisted breeding lab farms. Can they do that with Nephilim? Injection is quickly becoming a favorable method to combine DNA or to insert certain proteins from different species. Most notably, it was used in 1997 to splice mice with bioluminescence jellyfish and has since been used to create glowing rabbits, pigs, fish, and monkeys. Since then, human DNA has been, has been injected into chimpanzees, spiders, into sheep, and now gen pets have arrived. Uh, this is very disturbing. While the gym pets hang on a retail shelf in a chemically induced hy uh, hibernation controlled by a protein in the package, nutrient supply tubes. This is a natural trait found in many seasonal animals and should would normally hibernate in co colder northern climate. So what they're doing is they're manipulating the hibernation state and they put in, inducing hibernation. They're like putting this animal into a coma. Uh, until uh, you pull it out of the package and revive it, in other words. 
this is a natural trait found in many seasonal animals, could normally hibernate in colder northern climates, and has been added to the Gen Pet line to ensure comfort for the Gen Pet while they are on store shelves. Oh my goodness. Do Gen Pets feel pain? Yes. However, the Gen Pets have a limited vocal cords and they will not create a large amount of noise. Isn't that convenient? They created you a pet that doesn't really make a lot of noise because they don't want to, uh, you know, disturb you while you're asleep or anything. You know, just want you to have a pet and put it in a sh on a shelf when you're done. Um, can you take it on vacation? The same protein. What if I go on vacation? Same protein that keeps the gen pet dormant on store shelves can be supplied at any time so you can put them to sleep. Yeah. Oi, oi, oi. Folks, I'm going to put a link so that you can go and see this, but um, bio engineered pet. And there it is. It's uh, only by an bio engineered buddy available in several different personality types. Each personality type is gene t is linked to a respective color, and the color is then used for base for each package. Uh, heart monitor. Each package is built with a low cost heart monitor and is fully functional with green LED lights and a built in speaker. In the fresh strip, each single package includes easy to use fresh gauge for simple blue LED lights display in the status of the gen pet. Display will also display the if the gen pad has been sitting on the shelf too long or if the package circuitry has malfunctioned in some way. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's also in restraints, folks. It's being restrained. This happens to be the green gen, uh, gen pet. Um, <laughs> folks, this world is in trouble. So much trouble. But there you go. I'm going to leave a link for you to go and check it out. Uh, like the video, share the video, and uh, please comment and please subscribe to the channel. Um, code searcher. Shalom and Yeshua bless you.